Hi everybody, my name is Chelsea Odifu and I'm the director of Black Lady Goddess. Black Lady Goddess is set 20 years in the future when the world has found out that God is a black woman and reparations has been issued to all Aboriginators. I was inspired to make Black Lady Goddess due to my love and passion for wanting to create imagery that showcases black people being majestic, godly, and regal. Um, at the core, I feel like we oftentimes see films or narratives that kind of showcase Western mythology or Greek mythology, but when it comes to showcasing or exploring black spirituality, um, again, and black regality and black godliness in in my work um, I haven't really seen it always widely received so it's something that I really wanted to do um, and also create imagery and representation that kind of was a reflection of my own identity as a black woman um, who believes that I am a goddess as well so that was one of the main things that I feel like inspired the initial start of black lady goddess um, other things were my frustration with cultural appropriation um, and I really wanted to kind of create a scene where um, we find out that once the world found out that God is a black woman that we have to carry Becky comes to Black Lady Goddess and asks her race to be changed. Um, so kind of wanting to play around with alternate realities in this um, film was something that was also very important to me. But thank you so much for watching my film. Thank you to the New York African Film Festival for choosing me as an official selection. And I hope that you enjoy it. Bye. My name is Matoy Godwin and I am the writer and director of the short film Omi. It's about a love, love that kind of falls apart, so it's about a betrayal. Um, a woman discovers a tape and the tape has some provocative things on it and she has to discover what she's going to do with the tape, um, having been married to this person who was on it. Um, it really is about how a woman discovers the emotion that lies beneath grief and pain and heartbreak and what she does when she finally discovers what that emotion is. We were very intentional about um, the introversion of the film. It's very quiet, it's very um, pensive. You know, she's thinking about what she wants to do. She's thinking about what decisions she has to make. I knew a lot of women who dealt with this experience. Like it is an experience of what do I do with grief? <laughs> what do I do with pain? And what do I do when I don't recognize that that's what it is? Uh, Taya Booker, Deontay Thompson, and Alvin Rowland produced this film. And it would not have been the same without all three of them. Um, Taya was super instrumental in even the set designs. And she put hints of color in there that we wanted to see. The bathtub scene that I love so much, she put together that I thought just really embodied the emotion of Omi, and that's what you see on the poster cover of the film. I absolutely want to thank the New York African Film Festival for featuring this film. I hope that you all get a chance to watch this film and enjoy it. Um, grab some popcorn, grab some wine, tell your friends, tell your family. It's a film that investigates father and daughter relationships. This film is really personal to me, um, and it's a film that I wrote using a bit of my own background um, and the background of my community where I grew up. Um, and this film really was made possible by my producer, Kosi Dai, and even more so by Umote Moeng, who was a cinematographer on this project. The crew that worked on this film were really, I mean, the soul of the project. You know, these are passionate young filmmakers from Cape Town who saw value in this narrative and wanted to help me tell it. We are so excited to be on this platform uh, to share our film with the New York uh, African Film Festival audience. We look forward to engaging with you. Uh, please do follow us on Instagram, tab short film. Yes, and we're delighted, delighted to be here.
Thank you so much. Enjoy our food. My name is Thomason Adebaju, and I'm the writer and director of Appreciation. This show from follows an African Pentecostal pastor who questions everything she believes after a life-changing event. The film's inception and evolution um, really stemmed from my wanting to explore themes around faith and loss. I spent a long time trying to really answer this question, which was, how can somebody love a God that takes everything they love? In the context of the story, we have a pastor who is the spiritual pillar of a community, the spiritual anchor, and we see her forced to question her faith after she experiences a personal tragedy. This film is incredibly personal to me. Um, making it was a wonderful experience. I made it with some great cast and, and wonderful crew. And uh, to screen at this wonderful festival is such an honor and privilege. So we're all excited to share our film with you guys and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Kyung Sok Kim. I'm the director of the film Furthest From. I'm very grateful and humbled for this opportunity to screen my film at the New York African Film Festival at the legendary Lincoln Center. My film Furthest From is about a young girl named Jessie who's living in a trailer park, who's going through the changes around her life uh, due to the water contamination. Um, I hope you enjoy the film and thank you very much. Hi, my name is Mabato Munso. I am the writer, director, and co-producer of the short film Jogoya Hao. Jogoya Hao is essentially a story about power and the role of religion in liberation struggle. The story is set in the 1950s um, in a time of forced removals when the apartheid government was forcibly removing black people in areas that were earmarked for white people. We set the story in a fictional town called Gracetown following Nozis Wekhatebe, an ambitious and driven woman who wants to become a priest. And in her journey to become a priest, she has to contend with racism and sexism. But that's not all she experiences. She also goes through journeys of beautiful romantic love, deep meaningful friendships, and experiences uh, the spirit of community and oneness. I hope you enjoyed the story. Uh, it was conceived as part of uh, an anthology of films called Being Mandela, which were in honor of Nelson Mandela. This specific film is a love letter to the wonderful late uh, Mama Winnie Matigizela Mandela. Uh, the character of Nozizwe Khatebe is played beautifully by uh, musician Simpiwe Dana. I hope you enjoyed this film. Uh, we certainly had an amazing time making it um, and we hope you experience all of our dedication, love and spirit. <laughs>